my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Celia and I'm a Danish model, actress and angelic coach. And as you can see, if it's not your first time here, I'm somewhere else because I'm traveling right now. And I wanted to make this very special video for you guys. If it is your very first time here, welcome so much to my channel. My channel is a community for conscious creators, people who want to tap into the higher potential and to become the conscious creators of their own life. So I will share all the tips, hacks, tricks, etc. And today we're going to talk about one very powerful way that you can tap into your higher self and how you may differ a bit from the normal people. So we're going to talk about if you're part angel. Okay, before you think what the heck is this, just stay with me for a bit. There are many different theories out there to what it means being part angel. What I'm going to talk about today is being connected with the angelic part of our DNA. I truly believe that all humans, we have a potential within our DNA. And our DNA is actually not set in stone, it's something that we can learn to activate and change through activating different chakras in our body through using our mind, our pineal gland, etc. And I believe that we all have the potential to tap into our angelic DNA, which is basically our higher self, our more ascended self. There's also the potential, which a lot of people do, is to tap into the very primitive DNA, which is the reptilian fight or flight, is being controlled by the, the human impulses to for survival, for sex, for food, all that sort of stuff. Angelic DNA is the DNA that is above that. It's the DNA that is lighter in energy, higher in frequency, and it's actually the DNA that allows for us as conscious creators to reclaim our power. I believe we can activate it to different degrees, certain degrees, certain levels, and that we can all work on activating it more. And it's highly connected with our heart chakra and our loving frequency coming from the heart. So today we're going to talk about if you are part angel and I'm going to give you 12 different signs that could mean that you already have activated this DNA. Some people are born with this DNA activated as what you would call light workers and they're here to perform very special missions or tasks to help this planet ascend. While other people they learn to activate it later on in their life and in the end I believe it's the goal for most humans to learn to activate it of course if they want with their free will but it's something that can lead to greater liberation okay so the sign number one is feeling like you don't belong and if you are one of those people that have been activated since birth you may have all your life felt like a total outsider like you don't belong on this planet that it doesn't feel like home maybe even feel like you don't belong in your human body maybe everything just feels like so strange and you don't understand why people are living the way they do you don't understand all the violence, you don't understand the drama, you don't understand like how people go on with their day-to-day -day lives. So in a way you see yourself as very separate from humans and you may not feel like a human in that sense. That also leads us to number two. If you have activated the angelic DNA, you will have natural cravings for healthier things. If you have been activated since birth, you may have as a child actually wanted healthier things naturally. For instance, I as a child did not want to eat food unless it had vegetables in there, which is the exact opposite of what the idea most people have. You have to force your children to eat vegetables. I wanted the fresh raw foods and I always loved those foods. Also, you may become vegetarian and vegan very early on as a child, intuitively. You may crave more connection with nature intuitively, you may have been one of those people who never had alcohol, like those sort of things, you were just more connected with that lighter aspect of yourself that kept your frequency higher. And if you activate it later on in your life, you may experience just that you naturally start craving these healthy things and that you get absolutely zero interest in the things that lower your energy, such as alcohol, stimulants, animal products, irresponsible behaviors, etc. Sign number three that you have activated angelic DNA is enhanced psychic abilities. That you may have a stronger connection with the, with the collective consciousness, with the cosmos, with the Akashic records. You may be specifically good at doing tarot readings, oracle readings, 
um, you may be very empathic and feel how other people are feeling. For instance, when I was a child, I actually didn't know this, but my grandparents told me that I would always know what my dad wanted before he asked for it, and I would bring it to him before he had even asked, and he would say that oh, he was thinking to ask about these things. I was super tuned in to how he was feeling, and this is something that people with activated angelic DNA will have a really strong empathic abilities to feel how other people are feeling, and if you're not know how to control this, you may not sometimes be able to distinguish like what comes from you, what actually comes from the other person. So one of the challenges with an activated angelic DNA is to learn how to distinguish your energy from other people's energy. So energy cleansing becomes a really important part of your life, something I talk about a lot on my channel as well. Number four is that you have very high levels of compassion and love. When your angelic DNA is activated, it means your heart is activated. It doesn't mean you're there perfectly. It depends on the level of activation you have. And obviously, if you're in a physical human body, you still have an <laughs> experience sometimes of lower frequencies. But you will generally feel a lot of compassion towards people. And if they suffer, you will feel it. It will make you feel compassion when you see violence or suffering, even just in TV. It can make you feel extremely compassionate. Like, why would they do that? I personally cannot watch TV because it's mainly drama, bad news, all of that stuff. And if sometimes I happen to be in someone's house and they're watching it, I get so emotionally involved. Like if someone's hurting, even if it's just acting or whatever, I really get emotionally involved and I'm like, why would I do that? I don't understand it. And it can stir up like a lot of emotions. So as an angelic human, you will really feel this empathic feeling, which is also one of the things that give you the fuel to make a positive difference in the world. You have this future vision within your DNA because you're supposed to be here to build the future. So this is what will drive you towards making a positive change. This is what drives me towards making these videos is sometimes the wrongdoing I've been seeing because I knew inside what potential we have for a beautiful world and I want to do everything that I can to help create it. Instead of letting this compassion tear you down from feeling of helplessness or whatever, understand that you're extremely powerful. If you are an angelic human, you have so much power inside of you and you're here to make a positive difference. So use those experiences as a fuel to catapult you towards doing light work. That is my biggest tip. Number five is that you are seeing lots of signs and synchronicities. Uh, you may be seeing lots of feathers, angel numbers, symbols, and experience a lot of synchronicities in your life because you are attuned to a higher frequency and also because you are divinely supported and protected. It doesn't mean that you can be relentless and be safe in any situation, but it means that you're here on a mission and as you keep going on with your mission, the universe supports you and seeing increased synchronicities such as feathers and numbers is really a sign that the universe is here supporting you on the direction that you're on, so keep going. This is also one of the signs of people who want to start activating their angelic DNA is increased synchronicities. This is something I talk a lot about on my Instagram and also I will do many videos here. I already have a few videos on angel numbers so you can check that out. Sign number six of being an angelic human is that you may sometimes feel a difficulty navigating the world. Meaning you may have a difficulty holding a job, you may have a difficulty just adjusting to the kind of regular life that people have. I know that I tried to do this and I just could not do it. I had to create my own life, my own ways of doing, my own rules because I did not fit in in the regular way of working a job, eating the standard diet, seeing random friends, partying, all this sort of stuff just did not work for me. And you may also feel like you totally don't belong and it doesn't feel right for you and that's because it's not in alignment with your angelic DNA. You're here to be a pioneer, that means you have to stand out from the masses, you have to live a different way. And the more you understand that you may be an angelic human, the more you will be able to embrace this and understand that what makes you difficult is a blessing. It's not a curse in any way. You are blessed, my dear. So sign number se seven is obsession with angelic symbolism or obsession with symbolism in general, or positive symbolism such as dragonflies, butterflies, whatever it could be. The symbolism is something that may remind you of home. Uh, and that's why you love it. For instance, I love anything with angel wings. I love, love, love it so much and it's because it makes me feel at home. It makes me feel like this is who I am. This represents me. 
So that can be a sign that you are an angelic human. Sign number eight is a strong feeling of having a mission. You may feel like some of the first signs we said very different and at the same time you may also feel that you're here to make a positive difference. You may have, when watching movies in the past, always connected with the person that was like the hero or the, the outsider, the one here to change the world, etc. And that is a sign that you have that mission inside of you because every human with activated angelic DNA right now has the potential to make an immense positive impact on the ascension of the planet. Because the ascension of this planet still depends on the actions that humans take and the more people that will wake up to their angelic potential and actually start working towards raising their own vibration, working on themselves, working towards striving, becoming this higher version, the more we are helping the planet as a consciousness, as a collective consciousness. So if you have activated angelic DNA, you are already a hero. You are here to make a positive difference. And don't let anybody tell you that those feelings are not correct. As long as you have the heart in the right place and a pure intention and the willingness to do the work, you as one single person can make a major difference in the world. And I really, really want you to know that. Sign number nine that you're an activated angelic DNA is rebellion against human traditions. You may be one of those people that don't want to get married, that don't want to get kids, that don't want to have a nine to five jobs and that just don't want to be regular in any way. Of course there are many people who don't have activated angelic DNA that also feel like this but it can be a sign because you are simply here on a mission and you're not here just to have a family and have kids and stuff. You have a lot of work to do. Sign number 10 is that you have a strong connection with the truth. What does this mean? This means that when someone talks about spirituality, enlightenment, etc. You will be able to tell pretty quickly if what they're saying is true or not. To you, of course. But you will just have this strong feeling like this person is not really enlightened or oh my god this resonates so much. And that's because you carry the truth within your DNA, which every human does, but you have it activated. So you have more connection with it. This sixth sense is your guiding tool towards your own path of evolution. So really trust this. Just make sure that you're able to distinguish what's actually the ego or resistance towards growing and what's actually your feeling of what feels true or not. Sign number 12 is this longing to go home. You may sometimes just have this longing to go home and this feeling of what home is, which is usually a very beautiful, idyllic world, which is another realm. You may have a lot of time throughout your life, especially if you've been activated since childhood, have kind of buried yourself in this inner fantasy world, or just this inner knowing of what the world should be like. And this is kind of what have got you through life. If you have been activated since childhood, it's probably been a very tough childhood for you because you've been extra sensitive to everything and because you just haven't understood why people would act in the ways they have, down to the smallest details within family relations as well. And what has made you been able to go through this has been escaping into your inner knowing of what the world should be like. So that is definitely a really strong sign of having activated angelic DNA. It can also be a sign if you grew up in an emotionally abusive or abusive family. Uh, these people will tend to go into also fantasy worlds. Anyway, most pe most families have been and people with activated angelic DNA will have been more attuned to feeling this kind of discord in the relationships and therefore have a tendency to go into these worlds. Okay, and final one, number 12, is that you may be going through life lessons really, really fast. Like it may feel like you're actually going through lifetimes within like say a decade or within your life that you're just passing through one lifetime uh, to another, meaning that you learn lessons really fast, you go through karmic lessons really fast, you kind of experience spiritual rebirth very often. I know myself that I've done this so many times, for instance in the last 10 years, I feel like you can go from one person to another, which is just the next level you, and also the one adjusting to the kind of mission that you have. You may also be very drawn to doing spiritual practice that allow you to experience energetic rebirth, such as fasting, raw foods diet, yoga, meditation, all this sort of stuff. And you will very naturally belong within these practices. This spiritual rebirth is like quite essential for your growth and for your mission, because usually we do have to experience the human experience, even with activated angelic DNA, in order to deepen our compassion enough and in order to 
really understand what humans go through. Once we experience it, we'll experience it super fast just so we can gain that compassion and understanding to bring it out through the work and the messages that we have. I know for me that sometimes I would experience something or meet this person and just my interacting with this person because of my empathy I would be able to feel their experience or their life experience like I had gone through it and it would give me essential information that I could use for the work that I do and for teaching people in the future. That is also one of the benefits of being an empath is that you can kind of go through life experience just through hearing another person experiencing it because you're so able to feel the emotions of the other people you will be able to kind of experience it for yourself okay guys those were the 12 signs that you may be part angel of course there are many more signs and also it's not a one box fits all you may have activated your angelic dna to a certain level you may not at all or you may have had it since childhood but it all doesn't matter because I don't personally think it's set in stone. Why not? Because I know that I activated my angelic DNA more later on in life. I do feel like I was definitely born with it, but I also learned how to activate it. And I truly believe that everyone is, has the potential to activate it. It depends on the work that you personally do. But of course, in order for you to do it, you need to know how to do it. And that's what a lot of my work is about. Because I believe in the goodness in everyone, I dedicate all the work that I do on my channel, on my Instagram, on my website, etc. to teaching people how to tap into this inner divinity again. So you can find already on my channel different resources and on my Instagram as well practices that you can follow. And if you want more, please go to my website and subscribe to my newsletter where you will get a free ebook called what is a conscious creator and how to become one i also offer coaching where i will help design a specific plan for you to help you activate your angelic dna because we're all on different paths we all need different things so thanks to my experience and through talking with you and finding out where you are right now in life i can help create a plan for you to move forward and become more aligned with your higher self as well, if you want it all in one go, I have my book, How to Communicate with Angels, where I basically share six steps that allows you to connect with the angels from within yourself by activating your angelic DNA. So go check that out on my website as well. All the links will be in bio. Okay, guys, I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts and did you resonate with any of these 12 points? I'll be really curious to know your opinion. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, of course, feel free to subscribe and join the family. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Ciao.